Madagascar Big Head Turtle is a critically endangered turtle. It gets its name from the size of its head. They are unable to track their head all the way into their shell because of the way they have developed rough patches on top of their head. Um, it's for protection. The shell is hard and dark brown, mostly. They have long necks, that which allow them to breathe out of the surface of the water and still be covered from predators on the bottom of the water. As juvenile turtles, they have a delicate pattern of back lines on its shell, um, but it disappears when they get older, you know, go into adulthood. Madagascar is an average sized turtle reaching 17 to 20 inches in length. They are primarily aquatic, but they do bask in the sun, hang out on logs like most turtles do. Um, females go to the shore for laying eggs. The lifespan of this turtle is 15 years roughly. The, the diet consists of primarily plants, flowers, fruits, and some small bugs and insects. The species does not have the ability to hear, but the excellent sight of sense or smell really does help them with finding food, shelter, etc. and surviving in the wilderness. The females lay up to almost about 20 to 25 eggs per time they breed, which can be a pretty good amount. Madagascar big head turtles are thought to be the most endangered turtle in the world. They're po approximately their population is right around 10,000. With that being said, the majority of the numbers are protect in protected areas as of right now. Captive breeding programs are also in places to keep the turtle from becoming in in extinct and uh, create more of them and hopefully repopulate them. Despite their vulnerability, they are common food and Chinese market, which doesn't help with their um, population at all. They are also purchased as souvenirs by tourists and shipped from Madagascar, which personally I don't think is correct, but, or they get shipped to Asia for their use for their tradition. And that is my presentation on the Madagascar Big Head Turtles.